And we're going to let uh, Michelle and Pete handle the weather because they are certainly experts in that field. Michelle working from the home office still. What are things like right now outside? Well, the birds are up. I don't know if you can hear them. They're loud and at work already this morning for those that are just making their way out the door to head back to the office today or to send the kiddos to school. We do have a little fresh dusting of snow in many spots. That snow has been moving out this morning. Temperature wise, we're beginning our day in the upper teens and lower 20s with mostly cloudy skies. Looking at our three key things, we are going to be watching some improving conditions, but a heads up for the potential for a few slippery road conditions, secondary streets outside of my house. House. That street is covered in that dusting of snow right now, so be aware of that. And then we've got some cold temperatures over the next few days, followed up by more wintry weather, not just for Valentine's Day, but potentially a couple of days next week to watch as well. TJ, uh, actually, it's Pete going to get some more details on that right now. Hey, Pete. Hey, Michelle, thank you very much. That's right. The beach just goes on here. We get a few days off in the weather, but then more activity showing up in the next week with that potential snow, as you just mentioned. Right now, we are seeing most of those snow showers depart. Our temperatures are fairly chilly, though. 18 is your temperature in Smithfield, 22 Providence, 22 in Newport, 21 New Bedford. We are calm in Smithfield. We have a breeze of three miles an hour in Providence, so our wind chills are very close to the actual temperatures, feeling like 18 in Smithfield, 22 Providence, 22 Newport, and 21 New Bedford. So that sliver of snow continues to slide away. We'll be left with some clouds and then punching a few holes in those clouds by the afternoon. Then our attention shifts down here to the Gulf Coast. We'll be tracking some moisture, working out of the south. That will combine with some energy sweeping across the Great Lakes for the next several days. Those will join forces and produce a center of low pressure that tracks offshore for Valentine's Day. We're going to detail that part of the forecast in just a moment. This afternoon, notice these holes developing in the clouds, so we'll call it partly sunny, low 30, so temperatures still below normal for this time of year. By this evening, we go back in the low to mid 20s, and then our temperatures, they get chilly tonight, down to 19, 11 p.m., 13 or 12 degrees in the capital city very early tomorrow morning. Now, we know the deal around here. When Providence gets into the low teens, often other spots can slip into the single digits, and that's what I expect to happen tomorrow morning. This is around 5, 6 a.m. tomorrow, 8 in Pasco, places like West Greenwich. Uh, Coventry could easily slip into the single digits as well. Let's fast forward to Friday afternoon. Notice a little hole of sunshine here. Now clouds will likely increase on Friday during the afternoon and we'll have some clouds around for Saturday as well. But I am anticipating Saturday being a dry day. Then things start to change. This is Saturday night. Here's that center of low pressure moving offshore that I was just talking about. You can see it scoots by well to our south. That means we'll be on the colder side of the system. This will be Sunday morning where some snow is likely. At this point, because this looks like a fast mover, it looks like we're not going to see this be a major snowstorm for Valentine's Day or anything like that, more like a nuisance event. Certainly a few inches of accumulation are possible. We'll continue to update you on that. And as Michelle mentioned, more snow is possible on Tuesday. That has a potential of being something more significant, but too early to set that in stone right now, but we'll continue to put updates online. Michelle's been posting blog updates on WPRI.com where you can get all the details on these upcoming storm systems.